At Christmas time, engineers with access to 3D printers usually can't resist producing the odd extra decoration for the office. But this Christmas tree yep. is rather special because it's been printed with an electronic circuit and a switch inside it. And that's never been done before. Yeah, we were surprised no one thought of it before, but uh, they hadn't, so we, uh, we thought we'd get in there and uh, publish a paper on it. And it's not just Christmas trees. Here's the printer making us a working controller for a video game, buttons and all. The black plastic is the key to this process. Uh, so we've actually formulated the material we're putting down and we formulated it to go into a, an off-the-shelf 3D printer. And this is purely by mixing in some conductive particles into a polymer and then actually rolling it by hand into the, uh, the feedstock that the uh, machine takes. So this is a fully working controller. The buttons do what you'd expect them to do. You can fire and move uh, your ship. Now there is a little bit of cabling that has to go on behind here to actually hook it up to the computer itself. But the team say in a few years you may well be able to print the wires, the cables themselves, along with the rest of the controller. The focus on the project really was also to formulate material that someone could make at home as well. So 3D printers are a big thing with people with hobbyists at the moment and actually using them in their own homes. So if they can actually make a functional material which they can print, if they can to make simple circuits, then it certainly gives them more opportunities to do fun and interesting things. If 3D printer prices continue to fall, one day you may even print out working stocking fillers for the kids. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.